Hi, I'm Andrea Jews. Welcome to Vertical and Horizontal Asymptotes. We're going to start over here with our first uh, vertical asymptote. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and factor the equation. So we know that since there's you know just x squared, we're going to have two x's normally. And I say a negative 12, so I'm going to have a positive somewhere and a negative. Uh, and I know that the two numbers that become 12, um, that multiply to be 12 but add it to be 1, uh, is 3 and 4. 4 being the negative because it is a negative x indeed. And so to find the vertical asymptote, I'm going to go ahead and equal these to 0. So x is equal, x is equal. This one's going to be positive 4, and this one's going to be negative 3. So that's just one way to do it. I'm going to go ahead second the second way. So I'm going to go ahead and again factor like we did earlier. And I'm going to see that dividing, we can divide this whole part off from the 4x. So I'm going to get 2x minus 1. And then 2x on the other side. So then on the bottom half, the denominator, we still have that you know, x plus 5 that we need is equal to 0. So we know that x plus 5 um, to equal 0 has to become x equal to negative 5. Okay, so after we're done with the x equals negative 5, we're going to go ahead and find the next limit. So you have, there's a right side and a left side limit, positive and negative. So we're going to go ahead and write the original equation there. And after we do that, we're going to go ahead and make the limit. And I can see that that goes to positive infinity. So it goes that. And we're going to do the same thing for the left side limit, the negative side. So I'm going to go ahead and 4x minus 2x over x plus 5. And then I'm going to go to the limit, negative 5 to the negative, because that's going to be a negative infinity three types of horizontal asymptotes. So for the first one, we're going to have a, it's a top heavy when I look at the exponent, right? So whenever you do X, like horizontal asymptotes, you need to look at only the exponents because that tells you if it's going to be top heavy, bottom heavy, or equal. And so here I see that it's top heavy because the exponential number is greater on the top than it is on the bottom. And so since it's top heavy, then the limit does not exist. And you can just stop from there. Oh, I see here that they have the same degree of freedom. Not degree of freedom. I see that they have the same degree on both the top and the bottom. So what you do when it's equal is you just divide the following coefficient in the front. And we see here that it's just x that's 1. So it would be 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. So 2 would be your answer for what is the horizontal awesome here. And here I see, wow, it's bottom heavy. There's just a 1 here and there's a 5 here. So when it's bottom heavy, the answer is 0. And that was vertical and horizontal limits.